Let's take a very basic look into software synthesizers, or soft synths. It seems some of you are still having trouble getting sounds out of them. I'll start a new project here, and we'll select the normal template. I discussed this window in a little more detail in some of the other videos. Here you can select where your WAV files will be saved. Now my sonar opens with the template that I've created. I'm going to minimize this audio track since we won't be needing it. Let's look at a MIDI track where we can have a look at these parameters and get an understanding of what they do. First of all, down at the bottom here, you need to select the tab that says All, so we can see all these parameters. Right now I'm going to play the keys on my keyboard, and you'll see how it lights the lights on the meter in the track. And down here we have a MIDI indicator icon, where these red lights will light up, as long as there's MIDI going in or out. And lighting those shows me that my keyboard is hooked up right and the signal is going in, even though I don't hear anything. Now I'll open the synth rack, where I can add in a software synth. Hit the plus sign, and we get our lists of synths here. I'll select the TTS-1 again, and I'll leave this window with its default settings for now. When I click OK, TTS-1 will open. You can audition its many sounds by touching the green music note at the bottom of each of the 16 strips. And you can change the sound by clicking here and selecting a sound from the many presets. Let's try an overdrive guitar. The TTS-1 also has several sets of drums so that you can select uh, these from the drop-down list here also. I'm going to close the TTS-1 the changes I make in the track parameters will override those settings anyway. Now this top selection is your input. This comes from your keyboard and you could set it to be a particular channel but I'd like to leave it on Omni so that whatever the keyboard sends, Sonar will receive. The second selection is for your output. It can go to your sound card but I'd like to patch this directly to the TTS-1, the software synth we just loaded. The next selection is MIDI channel. Each of your MIDI tracks need to be set to a different MIDI channel. This one is set on channel 1. This next drop-down list is for the bank. And a bank is like a list of patches, or a bank of patches. And lastly, we have the patch itself. By clicking here, we see 127 sounds to select from. And that was only in TTS's first bank. Here you can see the next bank has many, many more sounds. And if we open the bank drop-down list again and go to the rhythm preset, this is where you'll find the lists of the different sets of drums. You can select them from here. Now when I touch my MIDI keys, we should hear something. Now let me show you something more convenient. Instead of left-clicking here, right-click on the patch, and it opens it up in this form where you can select from all the banks of sounds in one list. You can highlight one and audition it from your keyboard. I'm going to select that piano sound and I'll type in a name here in the track. Now let's look at our second MIDI track. We can also set this track to be played on the TTS-1 on a different channel. This track is already set to be played on channel 2. So I'm going to right click in the patch, getting the list in this form where I can use the handy search function and find a bass. Now I'm having a problem here. When I play the bass, I'm also hearing the piano playing. What's going on? On my piano track, there's an input echo, and somehow it got pushed. You see it's turned yellow? It needs to be purple, or not on at all. Now when I go back to my bass track, I'll hear only bass.
Okay, let's select that fretless sound. We'll type in a name here for the bass track. Now I'll arm the track by clicking on the R. And we'll click record. We'll turn the arm enable off on that track and enable the piano track. <laughs> Not some of my best playing. Now double clicking opens in the piano roll view where I could correct it using the pencil tool. Using the eraser I can erase notes. Using the pencil I can draw in notes. As well as edit notes that are already there. You can lengthen and shorten notes, change their timing and their placement. And even the velocity of how hard they were struck. You can right-click on a note to open up a dialog box displaying all these properties. So there it is, soft synths in a nutshell. I hope this has been a help. Have fun.